Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is called Mr. Small, A Big Day Out. Here we go. Mr. Small was out for a walk. He was feeling more than a little sorry for himself. It wasn't much fun being as small as he was. Well, he is pretty small. He sat down under a tree and closed his eyes. I do so wish I was bigger, he sighed. Much, much bigger, he added. Now, Mr. Small did not know that there was a wizard lying down on the other side of the tree. He had stopped for a snooze and just as he had been dozing off, the wizard had overheard Mr. Small's wish. The wizard smiled to himself. What's he gonna do? Without even opening his eyes, he muttered some magic words under his breath and then went back to sleep. Hmm. As Mr. Small lay there, something really quite remarkable happened. Something really quite remarkably magic. Mr. Small began to grow. Whoa. And grow. Uh-oh. And grow. Whoa, that's big. Until he bumped his head on a branch. Ouch. When he crawled out from underneath the tree and stood up, he was taller than the tree. Much taller. Gosh, said Mr. Small. He could not believe his eyes. He could not believe his size. He went for a walk to try out his new size. It was wonderful. He could see over the top of everything. Whoa. He leapfrogged over trees and jumped over rivers. He gave Mr. Uppity the shock of his life. <laughs> he was stronger than Mr. Strong. Noisier than Mr. Noisy. And taller than Mr. Tall. He could even make his fingers meet when he put his arms around Mr. Greedy's tummy. Mr. Small had a marvelous day. And as the sun set, he lay down in a field and went to sleep. As Mr. Small slept, he shrank back to his normal size. For you see, the wizard had cast a spell that would only last one day. Mm, bummer. When Mr. Small woke up, it was dark. What a wonderful dream, he had said to himself, and got up to walk home. But he found he couldn't. He was surrounded by a wall. However, when he felt along the bottom, he discovered that he could lift up the wall. It was light outside, and when he crawled out, Mr. Small could not believe his eyes. He had been trapped underneath a hat. A hat that looked just like his own, but it was much, much bigger. Well, I never, said Mr. Small. Maybe it wasn't a dream after all. That sleepy old wizard had forgotten to finish off his spell properly. He had forgotten to make sure Mr. Small's hat would shrink back to the right size. What? Mr. Small now had a 10 gallon hat. That's big hat. A 10 gallon hat for a pint-sized person. The end. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.